Hey guys, Matthew here from the MMAT YouTube channel doing a bit of a review on the 50 Beowulf today. This is a relatively new cartridge from Alexander Arms and it's really growing in popularity as it makes an excellent wild hog hunting round. It basically transforms your standard AR-15 from a glorified poodle shooter into a bona fide shoulder mounted cannon. As you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the 5.56 on the right which is the original caliber of the AR and the 50 Beowulf. Typical loads vary, but this is a 300 grain projectile with 35 grains of powder. This results in a velocity of just under 1800 feet per second and just over 2000 pounds feet of energy at the muzzle. As a comparison, while the 5.56 does produce much higher velocities, around 3000 feet per second or so, a typical 5.56 load only produces just over 1000 pounds feet of energy or half that of the 50 Beowulf. So the cartridge itself is the same length as a 5.56 round, but it has almost twice the diameter, over half an inch at the base. Despite the huge case, the rim is actually quite small though, and it may look familiar, and that's because it's the same rim as the 7.62x39, the popular AK-47 round. That means you don't need a special 50 Beowulf bolt to run this, just a commonly available 7.62 bolt. But it's not as easy as just swapping out the bolt and installing a new barrel. As you can see here, the ejection port has been opened up quite a bit to allow the massive case to get through. You could probably do that yourself on your standard AR-15 upper with a Dremel and a file, but you're probably better off just getting a dedicated 50 Beowulf upper instead. Alright, let's get this bad boy out to the range and do some shooting. So I started off shooting from the bench to check the accuracy. As you can see here, that massive round does produce quite a bit of recoil. Look at that dust getting kicked up. I shot the same target with 5.56 earlier and as you can see the 50 Beowulf does seem to be keeping up with it accuracy wise which should please all the hunters out there. Now to demonstrate the difference in terminal energy I use an old railway tie. The 5.56 moves it a little bit but it really creates a pretty big crater in the steel. Now by comparison the 50 Beowulf just about knocks the gong right over but it hardly puts a dent in the steel at all. That's the difference between a lightweight high speed projectile and a relatively slow speed but heavy projectile. Don't be put off by the recoil you saw earlier. That was mostly just because I was sitting down. Standing up you can see that the recoil is actually quite manageable. Well I hope you enjoyed. Please check out my other videos and feel free to leave comments and questions. I'll do my best to get to all of them. Thanks for watching everyone, we'll catch you next time.